Hi to all, welcome to my fifth class on chapter 1 real numbers class 10. In this class I am going to discuss the fundamental theorem of arithmetic and finding HCF and LCM by prime factorization. Let me take a number 2. What are the factors of 2? Yes, 2 is 1 into 2. 1 and 2 is the only factor of 2. Similarly, next number 3. 1 and 3 are the only factors of 3. And 5. 1 and 5. Can you say what are the other numbers? Having factors only 1 and the number itself. That are 7, 11, 13, 17, etc. This kind of numbers we can call it as prime numbers. And prime numbers are the numbers having 1 and the number itself are the factors. Now what are the numbers which are not primes? They are 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 12, 14, etc. These numbers we can call it as composite numbers. That means the numbers which are not prime we can call it as composite numbers. Now let us look at the product of prime numbers. The first prime number is 2 and you know that this is the only even prime. Now 2 into 3 which is equal to 6 that is a composite number. Similarly you multiply 2 into 3 into 5 that is 6 into 5 30. Again it is a composite number. That means product of any prime numbers we will get a composite number. Now let us take another number. Let me take a number 756. You know how to prime factorize 756. Let me divide it by 2. You get 3 to start 6. 7 to start 14. 8 to start 16. That is 378. So 756. The factors we can take it as 2 and 378. Again do factorize 378. You get 2. You get uh, divide by 2, you get 1, 8, 18, 9. So, 378, again you can write it as, the factors of 378, you can write it as 2 and 189. Now, do factorize 189. You cannot divide it by 2, so it can be divided by 3. So, 6 3's are 18 and 3 3's are 9. So, 189 you can write as 3 into 63 or 3 and 63 are the factors of 189. 63 you can divide by 3, you get 2 3's are 6, 1 3's are 3. That is 3 into 21. 21 again you can divide it by 3 so you get 3 7 are 21. So this you can write it as 3 into 7. So 756 the prime factorization you can write it as 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 7 because 7 here it is a prime number. This is the way how you are prime factorizing a number and this you can write in a power notation that is 2 into 2 you can write it as 2 square, 3 into 3 into 3 you can write it as 3 cube into 7. If it is so you can you factorize 
1650 in this way. Do you see? Okay, let us divide by 2. You get it as a 2 5. Again, you can divide it by 8 plus 2, 10 plus 5, 15. You can divide it by 3. So, 2, 3, so 6, 7, 2, 3, so 21, 5, 3, so 50. Again, you can divide by 5. That is 5, 5, so 27, 5, 5, so 24. Again, you can divide it by 5. You get 11. In this way also you can factorize 1650. So 1650 you can write it as 2 into 3 into 5 into 5 into 11. Or, or this again you can write it as 2 into 3 into 5 into 5, 5 square into 11. That means any composite number you can write it as a product of primes. This we can call it as fundamental theorem of arithmetic. Here, this 2 into 3 into 5 square, the order is not important. You can write as 2 into 5 square into 3 into 11. But this is unique. The only factorization of 1650 is, you can write as 2 into 3 into 5 square into 11. The order is not important and this is the unique representation of prime factorization of 1650 and this we can call it as the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. Now let us define it. That is fundamental theorem of arithmetic is every composite number can be expressed or factorized as a product of primes and this factorization is unique apart from the order in which a prime factor prime factors occur. Now by using this prime factorization you can find out the HCF and LC. Now let me take two numbers 84 and 90. Do factorize 84. 84 you can write it as 84 first divided by 2 42 again divided by 2 21 now you can divide by 3 7 so 84 you can write it as 2 into 2 into 3 into 7 or you can write it as 2 square into 3 into 7 now 90 how will you write 90 do yourself that is 90 again 245 again 3 you can write it as 15 again you can write divide by 3 you get you will get 5 so this you can write 2 into 3 square into 5 now how will you find out the HCF now take the common factor here 2 is a common factor and the lowest power which is 2 2 square and 2 in that lowest power containing the factor 2 is 2 so HCF you can find it as the product of the primes having lowest power so 3 3 square in both 3 is there so the lowest power is 3, 3 raised to 1, which is 3. So now multiply 2 into 3, 6. Now there is no common factors in both. So you have to take 2 into 3, that is 6. 6 is the HCF of 84 and 90. HCF of 84 and 90, that you can write it as HCF of 84 and 90 is equal to 6. This is the way you have to find out the HC. Now, how will you find out the LCM? Let us look at it. Now, let us find out 
the NCM of 8490. For that, you have to take the greatest power of each prime factor. So here it is 2 square, here it is 2. So greatest power of that prime factor is 2 square. Similarly, 3, 3 square. So you have to take 3 square. Now 7, the greatest power is 7, 7 raised to 1. So 7 you have to take and here it is 5. That means all prime, each prime factor you have to take and multiply. So this is 2 square is equal to 4 into 9 into 7 into 5. What will you get it? You get it as 1260. So a LCM of 84 and 90 is 1260. Now there is an important result. Let us look at it. HCF of 84 and 90 you got it as 6 and LCM of 84 and 90 you got it as 1260. Now do multiply the HCF and LCM. That is HCF into LCM. You can take it as 6 into 1260. That is you get it as 7560. Now find the product of the numbers. That is the product of the numbers is equal to product of the numbers is equal to that 84 into 90. 7560. That means HCF into LCM is equal to the product of the numbers. So we can write HCF into LCM is equal to product of the numbers. Suppose you want to find out HCM and LCM is given and the numbers are also given. How will you find out HCF? You have to find the product of the numbers by LCM. Similarly, if you want to find out LCM, find out the product of the numbers divided by HCM. Now, by using this, there are some questions in exercise 1.2. Let us look at it. You have four questions. Do yourself. This is your answers. Do verify yourself. That is all for today's class. Have a nice day.